Hey everyone, it's Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and you have come for yet another part to my coloring book collection. So this will be my French uh, coloring books, French color by numbers, um, my Disney color by numbers, which are from Lyrica, which is French, um, and the other color by numbers that are not Disney, that are French, and my mind wear, uh, mystery colors are on this shelf. I think that's it, but we'll find out as we go along. It's going to happen in stages. Um, so, and I will be showing the answers to these just in case. Um, so be warned <laughs> if you don't want to see the answers. Um, so I'm going to start with the Disney color by number first, and then we'll do the Disney regular coloring books. Um, and then I'll do like the normal coloring books, like normal color by number that are not Disney, everything that's not Disney. So we'll do it that way. So first I have some of these smaller, um, these are like supposed to be kids color by numbers and I have several of them, five. I had ordered them, you know, they're also much cheaper when you order them from Lyrica, but they're, you know, really not very big compared to, we'll say, your normal size Disney color by number. <laughs> so, you know, it, they're, they're a little bit smaller. They're not really that much smaller, even though they look smaller, but they are definitely not as thick because they're not nearly as many pictures. Really. They're a lot cheaper though. Um, so like to say, to give you an idea, these, are like usually about eight or nine dollars. These are like 23. <laughs> so there's a price difference. All right, so first of all, I got this one and they don't have great names usually, but um, I go by kind of like the picture. <laughs> Some of them I go by the picture or the theme. Uh, animal coloriage. So this is just animals and it has stickers in it. Um, Oh, this is not a color by number. It's a sticker book. That's right. So that's okay. I had it in with the Disney books. Uh, I just wanted to try it. I saw it. I wanted to see what one was. And they give you like an example in this one. And you color. You can color him. And half the page is colored. It's kind of neat, actually. And then you can put stickers on the pages. I love the stickers. There's lots of stickers in here. So... Got all the stickers so yeah if you were wondering I think this would be really cute um, you know it's for kids double-sided but uh, this is the end abiento very cute love it so this one is by is this one by Hachette I forget I think they're all from the same company but Disney Enterprises Incorporated. Uh, da, da, da. Imprint of Belgique Editions Hema. Hmm. So, interesting. All right, let's see. Do I have anything else that's like that? No. Next, I have Animal, Coloriage Magique. Uh -huh, so this is a mystery color. I forget how many. There's 30 images in here. And these look like this. Right? They're much more simple. Than, like I said, these are for kids. Um, still double-sided, but uh, they're kind of fun. I have done some from one of the other ones. But it's very similar. Um, and then in the back, they give you the images. So that you can see the ones that are in this book. I'll show you. I love. The... I watched that not too long ago too. I mean, I'd seen it a long time ago, but you know. And oh yes, it just brings back fond memories. Fond, fond memories still need to take advantage of my Disney account. <laughs> uh, here's the rescuers. I have done at least, I think I've done one in here. 
So this is very similar, uh, big puzzle pieces. Here are the pictures. There's probably 30 in here also. That seems to be the, the number. Well, this isn't the rescuers. It has rescuers on the cover. Sorry about that. There are 23 images in this one. Um, but yeah, I did do the very first one. I did it with water-based marker. I was experimenting because this paper is pretty much like the big books. It's the same kind of paper, just in a smaller format, a lot fewer colors. So it came out, I'm, I'm not, I don't love it. It's very weird that the water is that dark. But then again, if you remember the rescuers, like I think they were going out at dusk. And so the water was, you know, dark. Um, <clears> then <throat> we have, see that if you notice, they all say the same thing. Uh, well, this one says Atie. Um, is that TA? I don't remember what that means, but mostly they just say classics or color measure. This is animals, but it's very difficult to distinguish sometimes between them unless you're reading really carefully. Um, so this one is, you know, same kind of thing. And it has, we'll see how many it has. The pictures are very colorful in this one. I have to decide some of these if I want to keep, but they have duplicate images. This one has 30 images. Oh yeah, here's the same picture again. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to look at these very carefully and see if I want to get rid of some of them. Uh, and then I have the Raya because this one is dedicated to Raya and it was one of the only ones that I found that was. And there's 23 images in here. So here are the images in the Raya book. And there isn't really another one that's dedicated to Raya, which I love Raya. That's a great movie. So this one is, again, the same type of things. So that's all the small kids style that I have. Uh, next I'm going to do everything but the tomes. The tomes I have in order. So I have Nature. This is a coloriage mystere. This one is very detailed. However, you know, you do color large swaths of it. Um, so it doesn't, it's not necessarily that detailed, but the line work can be. Uh, so we'll kind of thumb through the images really quickly. I love nature. I try really hard to get books so that I don't have duplicate images. I don't always uh, manage. That's why I just don't, I don't get them all because I would never be able to color them all. Um, but I always get the tones. So I'm, I'm pretty much the tones I get. Um, and then the extras are kind of Maybe if I like them, if I like the pictures that are in them, I always wait for a flip through. There's the Wicked Witch for Snow White. There's Nature. And I have Messages, Mystere, so Mystery Messages. This one is hmm, not terribly detailed. It's this one has um, sayings, and of course they're in French. A little different way that they did the color palettes at the bottom. So, let's go see if I can find the answers. Um, Bouvier, Boudin Moi. 
Je suis un vrai petit garçon. I am a little boy. I can read some of them. It's just been a while. I don't I haven't taken French in forever. But these pictures are so pretty. So if you don't like, you know, having your sayings being not in English, then <laughs> this really isn't the book for you. I am a girl. This one looks cool. I'm not sure where I want to start. Usually I just start at the beginning and work my way through the book. I just figured I would take a little bit of time with these going through the, you know, in case anyone really is thinking about a book and they haven't seen the answers to see if they like the book. I have Vitro, which is uh, stained glass. I actually have done a couple of images in here. This one, I haven't finished. I think I was experimenting before I did this picture. So I did this picture with uh, JoJo's a Hannah. Um, oh gosh, I don't remember. I didn't put the date on it, but I wrote down all the colors. I think I was experimenting with FC. Oh, hoo hoo. Faber Castell. Oh, I was experimenting with different types of water based marker. That's what I was doing to figure out what I like because I'm still struggling with things, you know, using a medium in here that I like. This is a gorgeous book. I love it. There's another one that we did in here. I think I did it all in pe pencil. Yeah, I did it all in pencil. <laughs> I think color pencils. And I had started outlining in a darker color, and then I just got, like, it's a lot to do these in pencil, but it can't, it comes out kind of nice. Here's the solutions, if we haven't seen them before. I believe I did a flip through of this when I got it. It's harder to find flip throughs of these. It depends. But um, just figured it doesn't take long. I might as well just put them out there. It's a quick flip through though. I know when I was looking to, to figure out what books I wanted, I spent, sorry, um, a long time looking for different videos. I have Grand Classiques Circles. Let's see, and these are all different kinds of circles. You got these kind of circles, you got these kind, which are like the quirkle, well, sort of like the quirkles. I mean, they give you the colors though. <laughs> They give you the colors. So that's, those are like basically the two choices you have. I don't think I've done any of these. I thought maybe I did, but now I, I could swear I did one. Oh, yeah, I did. Look at that. Ta da! Rapunzel. I did it in water based markers and I really don't like how it came out. It looks better in the camera. That's the only one that I did. Um, but here's what these look like. And there's still a hundred in here, I think. Pretty sure. I just got this one once because it was different. I don't know that I'll get any more. Um... But the, you know, it was just a little bit different things to do, and I enjoyed the circles. <laughs> Thumper. Thumper always makes me laugh. Yep, 100 images. I can't remember. I think, oh, I know what it is. There's one of my non-Disney ones that's less than 100. 
Um, I have Creatures Fantastic. So Fantastic Creatures, which is meh, kind of run of the mill as far as the uh, detail goes. I haven't, I haven't done anything in here. So, yeah, I really need to get cracking on these. These are all fantastic creatures. Beautiful, beautiful. We have a couch <laughs> from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Just reminds me how many movies I haven't seen. And I, one of the reasons I got this is because of Maleficent, because I love Maleficent, because she was a dragon, and there is, you know, the giant image of Maleficent in here, which I passed, but it's on the cover also, so I love Maleficent. I also have Love Stories, which is my last non-tome. Um... This one is on the more detailed side. You can always tell when they put in these colors for you. It's because they don't expect that anybody can actually color that in, so they just do it for you. <laughs> so when you see that going on, you know. I haven't, I haven't actually, I don't remember when I got this. Funny story. I actually have an extra copy of this because even though I have a book, um, bookshelf app. I didn't bother to look and I apparently didn't take it off of my Lyrica list and I thought oh yeah I've been wanting that one and I ordered it again and so now I have two copies so at some point I'll do a giveaway and um, do love stories. So I wanted love stories because I'm just I, I love beautiful love stories. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to bother trying to send it back. I might, might, I don't know. I just didn't even try. I just figured I, sh I could uh, use it as a giveaway and it would be a nice prize when I decide to do one. <laughs> so stay tuned. You never know. And I probably won't put giveaway in the title because of the scammers. I'll just do it in a video sometime. So there is love stories. Now I have all of the 11 of the tomes. So I have one, this is, uh, or like the Grand Classique, which is tome one. Um, I don't remember if I have the most finished pages in here. I did this one, this was the first one I did with water waste markers, not loving it. Uh, did this one mostly in pencil. This is acrylic paint. I'm testing out my medium. I did this one in acrylic paint. I wasn't happy with how um, see-through the paint was. This I'm doing in watercolor, which was a slog, but I'm going to finish it. it. It'll look neat, but it's very difficult because you have to wait for it to dry. So that wasn't necessarily smart. I did treat the page, though. That was my, my other mistake. Um, do I have more in here? I did this one in pencil. That was for a Dumbo prompt. Um, this one I just did with my acrylic markers, the new Shuttle Art um, fancy brush markers that I got. That I did a separate video on. I just did that in July. This one I need to finish. I was doing this in gouache. Which is looking pretty good. And so that means, let's see, here's a, a thumper one that I did in pencil. It's all pencil. I just can't decide what I like the best. There's another one in here. Well, it might be in a different 
for whatever reason. I was going to do this one. That's why I did the outlines. And there's that one, which I never finished. I guess that's it. So, the finished pages. Of the, well, I'm pretty sure most people know Tome 1, but just in case, we will show you what Tome 1 looks like. It's been a while since this one's been out the longest. I might have to do the Disney ones and then do a separate video. That's going to take me forever. Or y'all just like a really long video of going through books. I don't know. I don't know whether to do them short or long. I have a variety. And then that's all that's in Tome 1. And I have Tome 2. I think I have... Pretty sure. Yep, I did this one. This one's acrylic. Mm, no, water-based marker. Pixies Disney coloring, July 2022 rabbit. So that was a prompt for then. I have that one done. Oh, I guess that's it. So we'll show you Tome 2. I have random pages done in these. Because of prompts or whatever. I was doing Pixie's Disney coloring for a while, whenever I could manage to get it done. And also I use Spicy Cat Colors prompt to get these done also. Because it makes me jump around to different books. Although sometimes it's a pain in the butt looking through the books to figure out which where a movie is. So there's Tome 2. Tome 3. I don't think I have anything in here, but oh no, nope, I do. Yeah, a Rapunzel. I think it was. I did this with Ardex acrylic markers. Eh, I didn't like them. I'm not the biggest fan. The new ones might be good. Might be good. Excuse me. Um, but the older ones, I just some of them are okay, but mm, they didn't thrill me. I've had mine for. A year and a half, maybe? Long time. So. so here's Tom 3. These are kind of, this book is mostly portraits. Or all portraits, it seems like. Not really scenes. Bob. So the portrait ones are not my fave, but eh, they're pretty cute. And here's home four. I would be surprised if I have anything colored in here, but you never know. Like I said, there's a random, really want to do that one, but coloring all those balloons, different colors, whoosh. <laughs> I've never seen, oh, Toy Story 3? 2010. Hmm. I guess I just don't remember that. So this is Tom Four. Tom Five. 
have anything. Oh, this one's kind of big comparatively. As far as the detail goes, I don't see anything colored in here. I didn't think I did. I must not have found a, a movie picture in here that I needed to do for a prompt. Sometimes I'll just do the first one I come to so I don't spend all that time looking. Some kind of mostly portraits also. It's like they did a lot of portraits for a while and then they got back to doing like scenes. So like I think a lot of the middle books are portraits. So here is tome six. I would be shocked if there are any uh, it's not particularly um Detailed. I love the pictures in here. I love the way um, Feral Shoujo get does hers in acrylic paint. I just don't think I have the wherewithal to um, mix my acrylic paint and paint with it. I just, as nice as it comes out, I just don't know. <clears throat> All right, that's tome six. It is tome seven. Do I have anything here? Oh yeah, I did this one. This was for a uh, uh, spicy cat Disney. I remember. So I did it in acrylic marker, and then I still wasn't happy with the markers I used. I had started doing this one because I was trying to do the opposite page, but I never finished it. Um, I was probably using Ardex acrylic markers. Obviously, I marked this to do it. Never did. So, that's it. Okay. So here's... Um, seven. Like that looks very similar, but the background's different. And sometimes some pictures they have the same portrait and then they change the background. <laughs> See, here's him, Jafar. I think I'm not. I shouldn't even say Disney characters because I'll be wrong. It's been too long, unless they're from the 70s and 80s or the 60s. I am woefully behind on my Disney movies. Um, Tome 8. Did I do anything in here? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I did. Look at that. I did the one in the back. That is water-based marker. Yep. Didn't like it. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't realize I, I'd forgotten that I did that one. So here's what we have in this one. Like I said, I just hope this, you know, maybe if someone is thinking, oh, I'd like to know what's in all these. Here's all the answers. <sighs> like that one with the ostriches. Good for... I love the rescuers. I even have the rescuers LP record <laughs> from when I was a kid. <laughs> Three more. Nine. Here's tome nine. I think I did I do one in here? Oh, I started one. So I guess I haven't been marking my whips, have I? 
I, I was doing this one in pencil for Aladdin. It looks like I must have been doing an Aladdin because that's really the only reason I'd be in a different book, not the first one. I'd be looking for a prompt. I love the movie Up, but man, I cried my, that's a problem with Disney movies. Cry my eyes out 90% of the time. Is it, isn't that true? You know, even, um, oh, what was it? What was I watching? Uh, Home with Bruno. Um, shoot. Encanto. Oh my goodness. For a while I was doing what uh, Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors does. I'm watching the movies when I had the prompt and I had never seen Encanto and I was watching it and my husband comes into the office and I was crying because, you know, it gets to the part at the river and I don't want to spoil it for you. But I was just like crying and he looks at me and you could tell he was going to ask what was wrong and then he looked at my tablet he's like, oh, you're watching a Disney movie. <laughs> They always make me cry. Tome 10. Did I do anything in here? This one's got nice dark lines in it. It's funny to watch them change. All right. See, we're back to doing more scenes again. I suppose I need to, like, put all of them in a list. And... I do, you know, 1 through 11, pick a number, 1 through 11, and then pick a page 1 to 100, and then just do them that way. <laughs> I could do that. Maybe I should do that as a monthly prompt or something to get those done. You just put it out there, and anybody who wants to do the same page could do that. Because I really need to, to start doing some of these. The paper's different in these newer ones, too. It's not as smooth. It's nice paper still. But it's not as smooth. And the newest one, Tome 11. I know there's nothing done in here. This one is extremely detailed in some respects. Oof, look at that. All right. And this is the one that, that, that everyone's going gaga over because they did double page spreads. Lovely double page spreads. <laughs> I don't want to try these until I get my medium figured out with what I like to color with in these. I'm kind of using book one as my test bed to figure out what I like the best and I just can't decide. I'm gonna have to count these as two pictures though when I do them, but wow. It's just a game changer when they do a double page spread. It just, it's so amazing. Look at that, lovely. All right, so let me grab another stack. We'll do the other Disney books. All right, I have the rest of my Disney books. These are all non-color by number, except the one that I forgot. <laughs> Um, which is Carré Mystère, and I have a cat. So, um, this one I have a whip in. I think I was using pit pens. It was coming out rather nice. Domino, seriously. I love you, buddy. But, I cannot do this with you here. So, come on. Yeah. Sorry. Such is life. Sucks to be small. I got the hair all over my... I really don't like him on my desk. <laughs> because he gets a hair all over everything. Um, and he doesn't need to be in the middle of everything I'm doing. <laughs> which is what he tries to do. So here... Is... The pictures. <laughs> um, if you want to be up here, you got to deal with the books, right? <laughs> These are the images in the book. There are 43. So 
so that's the other <laughs> color by number. The rest of them are all normal coloring books, um, so we can at least do this one maybe with Domino laying here. Uh, this was a gift from Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors, Mascots, Mascot, Mascotas, which is mascots, and it's all these cute, so if you were wondering about what mascots look like, the, this book, if you've seen it and you were wondering what it looks like, it's cute. I really need to do one of these pictures, because I think I'm at the point where I can actually do one. And it won't bother me. It's a tiny book though. That one's small. Here's a square one that uh, I saw on JoJo's and Hannah's channel. Yep, the cat can be one of my mats. He's just he's just a live mat, right? He does laundry and he wants to be on the table where I fold laundry and so I just dump laundry on top of him. Obviously I don't suffocate him but <laughs> He likes to be under the pile of laundry. It's so funny. Because, um, well, I got to get stuff done. Can't wait for the cat to not, you know, to be happy. <laughs> so anyway, this, was, this is Disney Pop Art. It is a very cool book. And um, I just got some neon pencils. And I think, you know, this will be a nice addition. I really, really like this book. Even though it is way out of my comfort zone. Really love this. Then I've got Summertime, which I have not colored in this summer. I think I did a flip when I got this book, so. Maybe we can just scooch you over a little bit. There you go. It's got like everybody. I really liked this book. Very cool. All summertime pictures. Um, I have V Sauvage. Oh, I can't remember what V Sauvage means. So this is more pictures. I really like these ones that are actual pictures rather than kind of just crazy backgrounds behind them. I did a flip through of that one also. I have Animo and Creatures Fantastique. So it's Fantastic Creatures. It's very cute. Obviously it's top bound. I believe there is a flip through. I, I think I did flip throughs of all of these. If you can't find one, let me know if you want one and I will either find it or do one. So there's that one. Um, Les Affiches Mythiques. So these are movie posters. And here's the posters in the back. And I just love, I love things that you can copy or get an idea of. It's fun to try to copy them. I know not everybody likes that. Um, so this is all Disney movie posters. It's very cool. I, a number of people have this book. So there's this one. Forêt Ferique. Ferique. Forest Fairies. I think. I can't remember what it means. No, it's not fairies. Ferique. Oh, I can't remember. I know when I did the flip through, I had it. These pictures are gorgeous. Just love this book. I'm intimidated to color these. I really am. But I am going to do it. I probably have enough, though. I don't know if I'll be getting any more for a while because these, you know, there's so many pictures. 60 in each book. And then I have one that Disney Mags has worked out of a lot. ABC Dare. So this is the ABCs. And I actually started a picture in it believe it or not this was like last year and the problem is these fall out so I started this one and I am gonna finish it um but I know that they've done a lot of these and they're really cool I love this book it's all letters from Disney 
Of course, I had to do the ticker. All right, so that's those. So let me get All right, them. so now I have all the non-Disney French color by numbers. So I have llamas. Cahay Magique. Um, this is another one that's just squares and it has the color palette on the side. Um, I did one. I did it in water-based markers. I was working on that one. Did I finish one? No. Uh, I just wasn't really happy with how it was coming out. So here's the pictures. They're in this book if you've seen it and you wonder. That's what that picture is supposed to look like. I just haven't decided. I just uh, trying to figure out what to use on them. Then I have these three really small ones. These are, I mean, you know, if these are the giant color by numbers, these are incredibly small. So, um, I've had these for a long time. I have fantasy, and these are all. You know, you know, this, the palette's on the bottom, and here's the answers. They're just beautiful pictures. Tiny book. I love this one, and I have not colored anything because I want to get my media straight and how I like to color these before I actually color one, because I love this book, and I want them to be really nice. I don't want to be disappointed. Um, this one, uh, they don't really, some of them don't really have names. They just have different colors. So this is the one I started working in. So this was water-based marker. I didn't like it. This is pencil. Um, I wasn't terribly happy with it. I did finish this one and I used Shuttle Art Teo Tree markers that yellowed. So there was a lesson there. And I think that's all I have done. Um, so here's the images if you want to see them. I don't love this book. Oh. Why do I have it upside down? That's weird. That is so weird that they're printed upside down. Okay. So there's one. So you can kind of get an idea, even though they're different ways. Get an idea of the images. This is my least favorite of the three. So I may just get rid of this one. Cause I'm not really drawn to it, but it's nice to practice in, so I keep it around. Um, and then I got Sweetheart, so it has all these messages in it. So I did a couple, I did this one, they came out really pretty. That was water based marker right there. And then this is Pencil, Love is a Rose. Is this one that First love. Um, uh, I can't remember. Besides, I'm sure y'all get tired of me trying to read French. But these are just beautiful pictures, even though the messages are all in French. Oh, they're just lovely. So, so far I'm happy with this one. So, I think I'm going to find my medium that I like the most and use the other book to do it. I still can't figure it out. These are just beautiful little pictures. They make me happy. So there you go. That's all the little ones. Then I have um, the normal color by numbers. So I do have two copies of this one because when I ordered the love stories apparently I ordered a second copy of this one. Didn't realize I had it so I'll probably give this one the second copy of this one away at some point. Um, this is not terribly detailed as you can see. I haven't done anything in it. 
and it has here's the images beautiful just fun um, different types of things in these books and you kind of just have to search through and look at the cover and watch a flip through of the pictures to figure out what you like I mean they do have a theme like nature cats animals birds there's one for birds there's one for ocean so you just kind of have to investigate and find a flip through of the answers to figure out what you like I really liked this one so that's nature this is animal which is animals there's this one has the it's a little bit different it has frames around them so it's very interesting it has very large um, color palettes at the top I don't know when this one came out I haven't been looking at when these came out uh, 2018 but you can still get it they're very popular. Let's see where the answer is. All right. So these are all animals of various types. And if you ever want to order anything from Lyrica and you've never ordered before, <clears throat> which is where I get all these, um, I will put my discount code because you'll get 10% uh, off your first order, I believe. And then it gives me a certain percentage off. It, it adds up over time. And that's what I ordered the uh, other books with. So it's cool that I can give them away. All right, so that is Animal. And look how appropriate that an Animal, Animal, goes across my screen. All right, so here is Arbre du Monde, um, Trees of the World. Not terribly detailed. I haven't gotten into these books at all. Just kind of give you an idea of, they're like, I love, this book is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really lovely. Oh, there's a Christmas tree. It's been a while since I flipped through this. I believe when I got it, I did a flip through of it. I love the one with the giraffe. That one's cool too. So that's Arbre du Monde. Then I have Tour du Monde. Like all around the world. These are really big. Some of these, this one's one of the easier ones. see what pictures are in here. These are much more simplistic. Of course you got the Taj Mahal. That I believe is Castle Nuschwanstein, Nuschwanstein in Germany, which is what the Disney castle is patterned after. And it's actually not a really old castle to be fair rather new as far as castles are concerned. I thought these were fun. Fun pictures. I like being, you know, pictures of different things in the world. Although some of them are kind of meh, like the landscape. And it doesn't tell you necessarily where they're from. I mean, some of them are obvious. <laughs> 
but it would be good practice using like acrylic paint and stuff because of large areas. So that's Tour du Monde. Uh, and then this one is a recent one, Conte de Fee, Fairy Tales, um, which is not very, it's not terribly detailed. This is a gorgeous book. It's one of my favorites. Um, so it's all different fairy tales. Or items from fairy tales, but they don't tell you what the fairy tales are. Just different little scenes. You have to kind of guess what they're from. But I do love the, uh, the pictures in here. I just wanted to see the pumpkin. I don't know what that's from. Hmm. Or this one. So there's fairy tales. Uh, and then I had fantastic. This one is different because it is a hard back book. It is extremely detailed and it does not have quite a hundred in it. Did I all have a hundred or something? Yeah. This one is the one that is, only has like 75, 80, has 80 images in it. They are tiny, very, very detailed in this one. It is more expensive because it's hardback, but the images are just amazing. Very, very cool fantasy images in this one. And finally, I do have one. Um, in the Disney, they're called Trom Noi, uh, which is Fool the Eye. This is vice versa, which is the same thing. You can see a picture of something here. They give you an example on the cover. And then it's the colored in picture. I just wanted one. It's the only one I have. And I didn't want the Disney one. But these are made, this one in particular is made so that you can still see the other image, which is kind of cool. I like the fact that you can still see it, so you can see what it was before you color it in. But in the um, answers, it doesn't give you, you don't see the images. It's just kind of cool. Probably the only one I'll get, probably the only, you know the eye that I will get. I guess Scotty is sleeping, so Domino is bored. Not that Domino cares about Scotty when Scotty is awake. But um, stay right here. You can lay there. gonna be a long day. <laughs> Domino. If I wait for him to stop, then I'll never get this done because it'll just take forever. He's really cute. I love the snowman right here. Should do that one this winter. Like I said, I need to put these in a, a rotation, but this is kind of, I love these. I love them, the images in here. So this one's really cool, vice versa. This one's been out for a little while, 2017. And they've got a couple of them. Um, but like I said, this is the only one I got. Might be the only one. I've got enough, Lord knows. So let me grab all of my mystery colors. Okay, so these are books that you get from Mindware, which is a website. Uh, you can get some of them on Amazon, but I find them more expensive to buy that way. But um, you have to sign up 
my, from Mindware, which is Oriental Trading. Oriental Trading Company has like a side shoot business that's like uh, kids activities and things like that. And it's called Mindware. And it's very cool. They have a lot of very cool stuff. But they have these mystery mosaics. I called them differently before. And I have the mystery mosaics and I have color counts, which are a couple different types of color by numbers that they have. For the mystery mosaics, I have books one through 11. I have completed book one, so you will not see it until you see my completed books. Um, but I do have, I mean, this is not all of them, um, but the way I would get them is I would wait for them to have a sale that they have a couple times a year and they'll have free shipping. And a lot of times you could get them like by two if you bought like two or three of them I think it was at least three you got like a certain discount so I'd buy them like that um but I have so many books like I haven't really been collecting them for a while uh, I have more than enough <laughs> so we'll look at book two I'll show you what they are and then I can just like show you the answer pages really quick I mean they are just squares I mean that's what they are um and there is a color palette. It does have a standard color palette. It's been a while, so I gotta figure out where it is. I'm sure it has a color palette. Oh, did I tear it out? No. Oh, I did. Sorry. So I tore this one out because, so here it is. Um, this is your standard color palette, so you can pick whatever, there's a page in every book, but I had torn this one out because I was using it, I think I was using a different set of markers or something, so I tore it out, um, and it's in a different book, because I'll keep all of my things in a binder, all of my color colors that I pick out for certain sets of books, I keep in another binder, so it's in there, um, but yeah, there's one of those in the front of every book, it's the same palette throughout all the books, um, and so they're all just squares. There are double page spreads in here. In some of the, some of them are double page spreads, which you can get a hold of them. Oh, this one must I must need to tear it. Yeah, that's right. Or it's just no, that's right. It's just in between the pages. There we go. So there's a double page spread. They're a lot of fun to do. They're just simple squares. Here's examples of the pictures that you do. I was just going back to front. So um, I'll show you any finished pages, but I'll also show you the answers in here if you want to see them. There's like 18 in each one. I can't remember if it's the same amount. And they're just kind of like random type of pictures. Here's book three. You can tell which ones are the double page spreads. You know, just so you know what images are in the different books if you're interested. There's book four. So they're really cool. Book five. Doesn't take long to go through these. I love that goldfish. I haven't done, I was doing them in order, so I know that I have no finished pages in here. I don't know what I was thinking. I did not, I mean, it was just start with one and just keep doing them. That's what I did with the first book. that space page too. Oh, I should do that for space timber. See, then I would be doing them in order. <laughs> I haven't picked these up in so long, but I do like the pictures. Now, um, I do know that eventually, as you get later in the books, you might see duplicated images, which is part of the reason that I stopped collecting them. I don't remember if there are any duplicates in 1 through 11. Um, I'd have to go through them and look. I really don't remember but yeah you have to be careful of that because they will duplicate images it doesn't happen a lot um, but as in later books they are. <laughs> a cow jumping K 
cow jumping over the moon. Yep, that is what I thought it was. Book nine is this one. I like the Ferris wheel too. That's a double page spread. They're really neat images. They're just kind of mindless. Um, some of the books are more detailed than others. When you color the image, like these are, are definitely kind of a different style of image. There's like a, a dodo bird. <laughs> There's some interesting things in here. And then here's book 11, which is the last one in the series. But I know they have like uh, at least 16 or 18. I can't remember how many they have. I love these type of books. Um, so that's why I was collecting. So then you've got your color counts, which is a different series. They have themes. They're not numbered. And what the color counts are are um and they have a, the same the exact same color palette that those do it's very standard in all their books um i mean the paper is not the best i have done in one of these books i've finished pages so they have um the first one with the color palette and then the second one has no color palette and you make your own so um I don't think this has, no, it doesn't have, um, and there's a number of different, there's no um, thing that shows you like the finished pic, what the finished picture is supposed to look like. Um, but this is, I'll show you a few pictures. Some of these are double page spreads. If I can get them out, I'm just trying to be careful. Where's the double page spread? There we go. There's two together. Here's one that's a mermaid. Oh yeah, this is these are, would be both the mermaid, right? So this is the mermaid with the numbers, and here's the mermaid without the numbers. The numbers are dark, so um, we'll see. I can't remember if you can see the numbers. So I've got the mythical fantasy, which is what this one is. And there's some examples on the back. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll show you a few pictures. Tropical which has tropical scenes. There's some examples. What's this one? Oh, this one's kind of like a, a tableau of different ocean scenes. You can't really see that one very well. I like doing these. These are, they come out really pretty. I don't know if this tropical one is my favorite. But, you know, me and, and Michelle from Kits and Caboodles have these, and we kept thinking, you know, we would do... Now, the numbers in this one seem to be a lot lighter than the other one. So I think it kind of varies. And there's... I can't remember. There's probably about the same number of images in these. I can't remember. Like, probably, like, 18 or something. But... There may be less. There may be, I think there's only like 10, and there's just two copies of the same image. I guess we can count one and see. This one is under the sea. This one must be my... Oh, yeah. So here's one. This is with the color palette. And I did sparklies. It really came out pretty. See what they look like when you get done with them? They're really nice. And then I didn't do this one yet. I was going to make my own color palette. So there's... If you count pictures, there's one, two, because this one's turtles, and this will be the other one, the one without the numbers, three, which there's that one, four, and this will be five, there's a scuba diver, and there's the other image, six, Seven, and here's eight, treasure chest, nine, I think there's ten or twelve, ten, it's the dolphin, there's eleven, and that is 
so there's 11. There's about 11 images in each book. That's under the sea. Here's Magical Forest. Oh, I did. This one has butterflies. I didn't do this one yet. I just haven't got around to it. So, yeah. There's a bunny. A bunny and all. There's some birds. But they just they come out really pretty. Um, this one, this book actually came with, um, stickles. They don't come with stickles anymore. I think they have a cheaper glue that they put with them. But it, some of them do have, like, a type of glitter glue that come with them. And then you'll see all the places with the stars next to it. That's when you're done coloring, you add the glitter to there. So that's kind of what this was. And it's just clear, you know, it was just a plain clear stickles. I can't remember what which one it was. Um, but yeah, they don't they don't put stickles with them anymore. They just give you, a, I think, a generic one. I don't know. I haven't looked in a while. And then I have fairies. So these are different fairies and fairy creatures with wings. I love them. They're pretty. They're stunning when they come out moon um i have adorable animals i haven't had these out in forever <laughs> there's a squirrel <laughs> kittens and a teacup let's see what this is oh it's a puppy sleeping so let's see there's some of those, the kittens in the teacup. <laughs> um, there's animals, which that kind of shows you right there. Give you an idea. Sometimes they're hard to see. They do have a good number of double page spreads in these. Those are pandas. These are just animals. Oh, there's the panda right there. I didn't realize that. Um, see, this one's where they had the stickles. It was attached to the front of the book and uh, when I pulled it off. So this one came with something. I think it was stickles, yeah. Or this one may have come with the generic glitter glue, actually. So this one's just... Um, uh, words to live by. So you have different scenes and inspirational messages in this one. Let's see what the big one is. Never stop exploring. That one's a pretty one. And this one's darker. <laughs> it's weird how some of them are really dark lines and some of them aren't. So there's the examples. Sorry I haven't done one of these. Sun catchers which is different pictures. The sun, look how pretty it is. Still, yeah, they all have the same color palettes. And the last one I have is Celestial, um, which has all these beautiful scenes. And the moon and the sun, let's see what this is. Oh, wow, well, it's like, um, Oh, it's a small village or something, and like, either the wind or how it's personified. Got this one open. Oh, that's a dragon. That's pretty. I love the celestial one. Oh, there's the guy. Um, I can't think of what, what he is. But anyway, that's all of the mindwear books. So now I'm going to do my normal French um, coloring books. They're just coloring books that I've ordered from Lyrica. I should have done those second, but I forgot about them um, before I did these color counts. But I guess it kind of makes sense to do all the color by number together. So I'll be right back. All right, home stretch. These are mostly very small books. I ordered all of these from Lyrica. 
as I did the Disney um, color by numbers. So that's what I got. This was very popular um, a year or two ago, Kawhi Dark. Um, it has some really fun images in it. I think, I can't remember if I did a flip through of it, but I know that there's all, you know, a few flip throughs of this on there. It's so cute. Has really nice paper. All the, the Disney books, or sorry, Disney, all the French books have really nice paper in them. So this was super cute. I really like the images in it, so I picked it up. I haven't done anything in it. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then I have Espace, which is space. Let's see, which way does this one go? I can't remember how most of the images are. Outer space. Some of them are like, um, there's bookmarks in the back. It's French, so a lot of, if there's any words in here, it's going to be French. There's like space scenes and space. Some of them are like, um comic book style just a variation all kinds of different things like it looks like old um movie posters so this one's really cool that's that's actually uh russian because it's the first space and there's some of ours. So it's a really mixed bag. What's in here is really kind of cool. And it's a small. These are small. I should get them right over here. This is like the mascots book. This is eight inches by what is it? Six and a half or five and a half. So half a sheet of paper. Then I have um some really small books that I picked up. I've got Kara, which is hearts, and this is all on black paper, so these are all hearts on black paper. Kind of neat. Really tiny book. This one's like six by six. <laughs> it's a little short. It's like five and three quarters by five and three quarters, actually. And this one is the same size. This one is um, a shotgun some shots, uh, which I can't remember. Oh, to each his own cat. That's right. Um, and this is so adorable. I love this book. You can get a big version of this in America. It has a different name and I can't remember, but I like this little one. Um, it has nothing but cats in it. It's very cute. The images are just really, really super cute in this one. And it's just kind of like a mixed bag of pictures. This shows you all the images in the book, in the back of the book. Um, who's the artist? It's by Marabou. Oh, who did this one? I cannot remember who the artist is that did this. Or it may have been a bunch of, I thought it was one artist, but it could just be a compilation. This came out in 2015. It's a Hachette, Hachette Libra, Libra. <clears throat> My voice is leaving something to be desired. Then I have, hmm, I'm missing one. We'll cover that in a minute. Okay, so I have, no nose therapy. Um, this is teddy bear therapy. This is by uh, Diane Dufour, who is a very popular um, artist with a lot of us. I love teddy bear therapy. I have not done anything in this. I wanted to. I think I pulled it out once to do something in it. It is an adorable book. I did a flip through of it when I got it. And I love Diane Dufour is just an amazing artist. Her art is so beautiful. It has like little note cards and tags in the back that you can cut out if you want. Like, but it would have just patches. 
you know, they must like that kind of thing in France, I guess. I don't know. So, the teddy bear therapy. And there's boule de poil, which is fur balls or hair balls. I think, actually, um, this is a an adorable book by Diane Dufour. Or no. Is this one by Diane Dufour? I think it is. It looks like her art. I think I did one in here. Did I do one? Oh, yeah. I did this one with Pixies Projects a couple years ago. I love the way this came out. This is one of my favorite pictures ever. And I did the bubbles. She actually did a video for me that taught me how to do bubbles. I did mine a little different than she does hers, but it helped me out so much. Um, but I did it all in pencil. Oh, I marked that because I wanted to do the foxes, but... I love this book, Boule de Poil. And then I have a couple of other cat lovers, which is the American, it's an English title, but it, it did come from, so this is just a bunch of cat pictures. Very cute cat pictures. Kind of like a mixed bag. I don't think there's an artist. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that name I would butcher. I think it's supposed to be Gail Gen Junius. But uh, there it is if you want to know. <laughs> but yeah, these are really cute. Very small book. Um, Animaux de la Forêt. Ugh, Animaux de la Forêt which is Animals of the Forest, which this one is, I think, I don't remember who the artist is in this one. Carolyn Allen, Allen. Um, this is a Hachette book also. Like I said, all these come from Lyrica. Double-sided, amazing paper in all of these books. So these are just Animals in the Forest, a bunch of, I, I have a flip through of this on my channel. So if you're looking for it and you can't find it, let me know. But this book is just beautiful. And then uh, La Neige, which is uh, snow globes. Uh, and I had a project. I did start a project with this book because um, it's all snow globes. It's just snow globe after snow globe after snow globe. And I've never gotten back to it. It's like a million different snow globes. Because I love snow globes. So, the first one I did, if you've never seen it, um, I put glitter, I glued all this confetti, confetti slash glitter, in the places where they were, because you can see, like, when they do them, they put little snow in there. So, I, I decided what I wanted, I glued those on, um, they, some of them were heart-shaped, so I did that, and then I put... Um, gloss, uh, it's golden gloss because using um, glossy accents would be prohibitive because the bottle is so small and it doesn't spread. It's like the golden um, gloss is a little bit thinner so it spreads farther but you have to be more careful with it because it will spread like I said, farther, but it came out well. I mean, it's a, it's a, a work in, pro, you know, just learning how to use it, but I'm very happy with how it came out. The rest of it's done in pencil. I mean, it's all pencil, you know, and then I glued all those on and that's what I'm going to do with every one of them. And hopefully they won't stick together, but that's going to be my project book. So let me find the other book I'm missing. There's two of them and I laid them on my desk because I was trying to get the books off the shelf and I pulled them off first. So I have uh, Diane Dufour, Sirene du Monde, so um, Sirens of the World or Mermaids of the World. Uh, oh, I wanted to do that one for Foxy February, I never did it. This is a, a very cute book. Love the images in here. Again, Lyric, I did this one with Happy Catastrophe, Candace, and I did this one earlier this year. Love how this one came out. 
colored pencil, um, Neo Color 2s, just, I did a lot of, actually it's a watercolor and ink tints or Neo Color 2s. Oh, there's no, there might be a little pencil shading in here. But I love this book. The papers, very smooth, but amazing. This is an adorable, adorable book. I need to do more in here. Stéphane Dumont, and then Nature, which this is Diane Dufour also. Both of those are, these are Diane Dufour. And so this is just nature scenes, beautiful nature scenes. I love Diane Dufour, like I said. Just gorgeous. There's a flip through, actually there's a number of flip throughs of the, I think, I know I did a flip through on my channel of this book for the llamas. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. So that's nature. And then the last thing on the shelf is like four, four watercolor, five watercolor books I have. Um, because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. So these are um, made to be watercolored in. So I have World of Cats, which I won um, from Michelle at Kits and Caboodles. Um, she was giving away some books and it's like she would put them up and then you, who's interested and you pick a number and then uh, if you get closest, you win. So I won this. World of Cats by John Green. This is a Dover book. I can't remember if it's still available, but it's on watercolor paper. Um, I picked this one up from Ollie's. I just did that. Um, it does have water, like really thick watercolor paper in it. Just to give myself some practice. It's just simple inspirational messages. Not very many pictures. I think there's like 10 or 12 pictures in here. So I thought that was fun. Um, Woodland watercolor I have. I have done one or two pictures in here. This is gorgeous. It's kind of a smaller book. There is a flip through on my channel, but um, it's a little under nine, kind of eight and three quarters, but a little more by seven and a half. Eh, somewhere between seven and a half and seven and three quarters. It's a very weird size. It is on watercolor paper. Um, so it's very hard. I haven't broken the spine. Even though I've colored in this book, I haven't broken the spine. There's mushrooms, there's animals, just different scenes. It's beautiful. So I've done, I did this one. I've done two. Um, I did this for watercolor summer. I think actually this was a buddy color. I think, uh, Michelle from Kids and Caboodles and I did this one together last summer in 2023. And... I was using watercolor, of course, and it came out pretty cool. I love the bees wings. I'm happy with that one. And then uh, I think I did this as a watercolor summer video where I used, I don't remember, but I'm happy with, I think I used watercolor pencils or ink tents. I can't remember, but I'm really happy with how that came out. This book is just fabulous. It's a bit pricey, um, but it's definitely worth it. It has 200 GSM watercolor paper in it. So that's really what you're paying for and the art. Um, it's by Claire Therese Gray. She has, I can't remember if she has another book. Um, I think she does. This one I've had forever, Rainforest Escape. It is on watercolor paper. Um, it does have, it's very hard to flip through because it has a lot of double page spreads that flip out or fold out. Um, it has some mini four scenes and it's very nice watercolor paper there was there's this person i have to look up the artist here in a second um so it has, has random stuff in it from the rainforest there's another one i think called carnival or something like that where it has a lot of people um i think i have a flip through of this i can't remember but yeah there's a ton of like fold out images in here um this one's by 
Jade Gideon. Founder and a designer, founder and designer of We Dream in Color. So this is Rainforest Escape, and I'm keeping a hold of this book. I got it at a discount store, actually. I think. And then last but not least, this is huge. I don't know if I can get it all in or not. Uh, my mother-in-law gave this to me. Uh, it's an artist coloring book, 16 designs printed on high color, dr high quality drawing paper, still life bouquets. Um, so it is on watercolor paper. It did get wet at some point, but that's not, it's not ruined. Um, but these are all very sketched drawings and it's just beautiful. I don't know where she got it from, but it's all bouquets of flowers. A lot of tulips in here. Um, I see. For pencil, marker, ink, crayon, and watercolor, but um, it's a shame it got wet, but it's really cool. Um, peppinpress.com but I don't see an artist name on here oh it's different artists because the back tells me who the artists are it's interesting fun so there you go I don't know if, if you can even get this book <laughs> but it's very cool and it's got a hard back on it and watercolor paper anyway that is the end of that shelf so um next we'll do my color by uh yeah color by number bookshelf then my small tiny well no then we'll do the such and such diva books and prachi duan such diva and then we will do the tiny books and the finished book box and that will be it oh and pdfs gotta do the pdfs it's gonna take me I still don't know what to do with those, but I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I got a little bit of time. So we're getting there. Almost. We're like, you know, three quarters done. Maybe a little more. So there'll be a few more videos. Fear not. Then I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry it's so long. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.